Hey guys, and welcome back to day nine of how to help de-stress with a little yoga and a little stretching. Today you're gonna want a block or something to use a, a block. Even um, a tall water bottle will be helpful in some instances, um, or you can go without, but I really do recommend this block. I'm just gonna have off the side handy near my hands so when we need it, I've got it. So I'm just gonna turn and I'm gonna bring myself to a nice narrow child's pose, nice balasa. So knees are together. I'm gonna let my head fall to the ground. I need to bring my arms actually by my side, palms facing up. Just letting the body completely relax here as a starting pose. Enjoying just melting a little bit by bit. Finding the focus on your breath. And letting yourself just be here and present in this moment. Sometimes it's so hard when we're exercising or stretching that we're always thinking about other things. Just remember the only thing we're doing now is stretching. Whatever you're thinking about, you can't do anything about it now. So just let those thoughts pass on by. And then we can think about them later. One more big breath here. I'm going to come up to kneeling. Then I'm going to come to standing kneeling, right? So my, I'm on my knees. I'm going to just turn to face you. You're going to bring your hips, your knees hip width apart. And this is where we're going to need our blocks. I'm going to place my block on the left side. You will want probably the tallest setting. I'm going to step my right foot out so the toes are in line with that knee. And I'm just going to bring my left hand down to that left block. So reach the right arm up and over for gate pose. So you can adjust playing around with this block, right? You kind of want your shoulder and wrist to stack. And I'm just looking up a little bit towards that elbow, maybe opening up to the sky if you like, making sure we're not sinking in either of our shoulders. They're nice and strong and that right sole of the foot is on the ground. So we stretch out that right side body, reach, reach, reach. Taking a nice big slow breath here. Give me one more. Perfect. Well, remember, we're ready to inhale both arms up. We're gonna reverse this right hand comes down, left arm reaches up. Push the hips to the left. Now we're just getting the left side body. We will, don't worry, switch after so you get the same stretch on both sides. I'm still pressing down through those right toes. Just adjust your foot as you need to. I'm just resting my right hand. I'm not putting any pressure, especially on that joint. If you need to for support, you can also bring that right hand to the hip. That's it. Just one more breath here. And when we're ready, we're gonna inhale, come up. And we're gonna sink our hips down to our foot, and we're gonna bring our hands down like we would in a child's pose. So this is our, our leg side out child's pose. If you have to here, it's a little hard to keep it from the ground, you can lift it up, but try and keep the inner side at least in the ground so you feel a nice inner thigh stretch here too. That left hip is resting on that left ankle. Make sure there's not too much pressure there though. Letting the head hang, and I've got some weight in my hands supporting the upper body. Two more big breaths. And last one. Good, I'm gonna come back up, bring my right knee in, and I'm gonna come back to that standing kneeling pose. And I'm just gonna switch my block over to the right side. Again, feel free to adjust. I'm gonna take my left leg out so my toes are in line with my knee. Right hand to block, again, you can move it wherever suits fit. And then you're gonna lift the left arm up. So you want your fingertips all the way down to that ankle to be a nice long line. As we reach up, we push those hips forward. Our right arm and shoulder is strong. You can look up to that left arm if you'd like a little bit, but you don't have to. Just enjoying this nice little stretch here, getting our bodies warmed up. Everything's fairly gentle today, so don't, don't rush anything. Just move slowly, follow your breath, and make sure if you're ever in pain, we'll back out just a little bit. Last breath. Using our core, we're gonna inhale both arms up, left arm to the left leg, right arm reaches up and over, push the hips to the left. So I'm really focusing on that little bit of a hinge, a little bit of a crunch on the left side. Remember, your left hand can come to the hip if you need the support. We're not folding forward at all, it's just in this kind of plain side to side lateral motion. That's it. Melting deeper and deeper, making sure again there's no pain, especially in the side. Just goes to a comfortable deep stretch. Last breath. 
when you're ready, inhaling, coming back up. We're going to send the hips back to that right foot. Bring the hands down for our single leg out of child's pose. Again, you can lift the sole up partially if you have to. So just the inside of the foot is on the ground. But we're really focusing on stretching that inner ham, inner hamstring, inner thigh. Hands are supporting the back. Head is just hanging loose. Don't worry if it's not on the ground. No worries here today. Just relaxing everything that serves our body. That's all we care about right now. Slowing those breaths down. And last breath here. Perfect. I'm going to push up onto my hands. I knee. I'm going to step my left knee and I'm just going to turn so you can see me. We're just going into a few cats and cows. As we inhale, sweep the head up, sink the chest down. Exhale, tucking the chin, puffing up the spine for the cat. Go get your own breath pace if you like. Inhale to cow, lift the head, lift the tailbone, accentuate this motion. Following that breath, two more of each. Last one. And then come back to that nice neutral spine. We're going to go into a nice little there. So I'm going to just walk my right hand in a little bit so I can step my right foot forward into this nice little lunge position. You may want to walk your back knee back a little bit. And you may, if you've got a hard surface, want to curl or have something to cushion that knee. It's up to you, but we're going to sink down here with those hips. Now, the reason I love the block here is it helps us get a little lower. You can use it, turn it long ways to get both arms on. A lot of times I find that the outer arm is not quite going as deep. You can also turn it a little higher. Whatever serves your body, if up here is all your hips want, that's okay too. That's it, just keep breathing. Releasing that hip flexor. We're gonna do a quad stretch after. Last breath, just like this. And then wherever you are, you're, you're gonna come up on your hands, just move your block. I'm gonna make sure my right hand's kind of in the center at support me. I'm gonna bend that left leg and I'm gonna grab that left foot. If you can't grab your left foot, you can just keep the leg bent and you can reach the hand behind. You wanna make sure if you're sitting your hips back like this, you're gonna be on your kneecap, not very comfortable. So you wanna push those hips forward so you're actually resting above the kneecap. You can look behind you a little bit. This is a little bit of a twist, a little bit of an opener for that left shoulder. Just a nice little lizard here. It's probably the hardest thing we're doing today. So just be okay which option you're at today. Last breath. Gently release that foot back down. Bring both hands to the ground. Sink those hips down again. One more big breath here. And I'm going to step my right knee back to meet the left. It's okay if it's a little far, it's just setting you up better for your second side of lizard. So I'm going to bring my left hand in and set my left foot on the outside of that hand. Again, sinking those hips down. You can cushion that right knee. You can come down onto your forearms or use your block or whatever you've got for a little bit of a extra um, I got a brain burn. A little extra lift if you need if you're not quite on the ground. Making sure that right toe is right behind you. Try not to sink in your shoulders at all. Keeping that left knee hugging you. That's it. Two more big breaths here. Just letting your hips release and melt. Last exhale, this is the last part to really release and melt. Good, wherever you are, come back up onto your hands. You can get rid of your block. This time I'm gonna make sure the left hand's kind of in the center supporting me. I'm gonna bend that right knee. Again, if you can't reach the foot, you can stay here or you can reach that right foot with that right hand. Maybe look a little over the right shoulder. Remember, 
We're pushing down with the hips, so we're resting above the kneecap, not on the kneecap. It will be very painful on that patella. So push those hips down, keep that left leg hugged in. We're strong through the left arm. That right arm is active. That's it, two more breaths. Really let those hips release, scissor them open for your last one. Gently release that, but then both hands to the ground, bring it back to a nice kneeling position. I'm gonna mark my knees mat width apart. I wanna make sure I have my block in here. I'm gonna start my left side just so you guys can see. Toes together as we exhale into a wide-legged Belastina, wide-legged child's forehead to the ground. Just let everything release here. One more big breath. Now, if you don't have the block or anything, this is just an option. You can just stay in the Belastina. If you do, I'm gonna bring the block and have my elbow in the middle of it. I'm starting with my left side. So I'm gonna bring my hands together, prayer position, and bring the thumbs to the back of my neck. You can adjust yourself here, but we're pressing that armpit down. Just see how this really deepens that stretch in that lat, that tricep really underneath that armpit. Using the block helps us get a little deeper, but also helps us focus just on that one side. Making sure that we have that sole focus, we can go as deep as we feel or desire to go. Just relaxing here. Maybe letting the hips melt closer to your heels or letting the chest come a little bit deeper. Two more breaths. And last one. I'm gonna release my hands, just come out of this child just a little bit so I can switch the block over to the other side. So I'm gonna put my right elbow right in the middle of that block. Making sure your head can still come to the ground, forward to the ground, palms together. Bring the thumb to the back of the neck. The lower part of the upper arm is right in that tricep area. It should be on the block, elbow, not on the block anymore. As we have this bend in our elbows, we're pressing our chest down, opening up that tricep, that armpit area. And the longer we hold this child, the more of a yin pose for this child because we're holding it for a long time. Hopefully, the more you'll feel loose and released. That's it, just enjoy. Give me one more big deep breath here. And then we're gonna release our hands, just come out of your child a little bit, just remove the block, you don't need it anymore. Then we're gonna come onto our hands and our knees. We're just gonna quickly turn over. We're just gonna finish with a little body twist, a little rocking, just to make sure if you're not already that we're super relaxed. So let's pull those knees in the chest, just do a little rocking side to side here, massage out that lower back. Big or small motions, it's up to you. Maybe some little circles in that lower back using the hands to guide the knees. And then let's switch directions. That's it. And come to stillness. We're going to plant our feet on the ground. We're going to let the left leg go out long. I'm going to lift the right leg up. I'm going to grab the outside of that right leg with my left hand. Right hand comes down nice big inhale here. And as I exhale, I'm twisting over to the left. I'm going to let my leg bend. You can keep it straight, letting that right hip come up, that right shoulder on the mat as I look over that right side. Again, letting yourself relax and melt. I like to have my big toe of that right leg graze the ground, just a little extra support. And this is where I want you to melt. As you exhale, like feel yourself twisting away from yourself, from the torso and the lower lungs, lower limbs. That's it. One more big breath here.
And when you're ready, we're gonna untwist, bring that leg back straight up, nice big inhale up. Exhale, crunch the forehead to the leg and release it back down. Let's pull that left leg up, nice and straight. Right hand grabs the outside of the left leg, left arm comes down. And as you exhale, pull that leg across the right side of the body. Again, you can bend the knee or keep it straight and look over that left shoulder to go a little deeper. I like to keep my right hand on the outside of that leg. The weight of the arm actually adds a little bit more depth to the stretch. Helping myself twist and helping me melt more. Feel the lower limbs, the lower body, just twisting a little bit away from the upper body. Nice in the spine, nice and relaxed. Again, don't over twist here, just in a comfortable position, never more than a deep stretch. There is no pain in yoga. Following those deep breaths here. We're almost done, so just keep it slow. Really start lengthening out those breaths. I always preach a few deep breaths can help calm us and relax us. But when you combine that with the yoga, you become mentally and physically relaxed. Nice combination. Last breath here. When you're ready, let's inhale. Everything back to center, left leg up. Exhale, crunch head to knee, or head, yeah, knee to head. Release that leg down and just bring your palms by your side for a nice shavasana. Just close your eyes here. I will close our practice here and now, but remember, you can always stay here. Even if you've got just five deep, slow breaths, I encourage you to stay here. But thank you for sharing in this practice and just letting yourself release and open up a little bit. The block is a great little tool especially when we find ourselves needing a little extra lift or a little reach. I hope you enjoyed this stretch and have a great day. Namaste. Remember, if you can stay here, even just for five more breaths, please stay here. Don't forget to move gently when you're done and then grab some water.